Today I bring you five feel-good news stories to lift your spirits and make you smile, including one happy day in our very own Earlham. A big congratulations from everyone here at Oliver James and Love M44 to Amanda and James who moved to the area yesterday and completed on their first new home in Earlham. It was a little more special than that though. Not only did they complete on their first home, but it was also Amanda's birthday. The good news doesn't end there, as James got down on one knee and popped the question, and Amanda said yes. So a triple celebration. Please join me in welcoming Amanda and James to the area, and congratulations. If you often nod off in the mid-afternoon, we have good news. A new study suggests napping can sharpen your mind and help ward off dementia. A survey of 2,214 people published in General Psychology found post-lunch snoozers had better memory recall and improved emotional stability and verbal fluency. All this comes with a few conditions however. Scientists say it's best to get your head down after lunch before 2pm and sleep for no more than 40 minutes. Napping too late in the day or for too long can interfere with your nighttime sleep patterns. Love was in the air on Monday when couples across Wales celebrated St Dwynvin's Day by exchanging flowers, chocolates and cheeky cutches. That's cuddles. So, who was Dwyvin then? According to Welsh legend, she was a 5th century princess who ran away and became a nun after having her heart broken. Aww. It doesn't sound like a very romantic story, we know, but St Dwynvin then dedicated her life to helping the course of true love run smooth for others. The wealth patron saint of lovers was an upbeat soul, apparently and fond of saying, nothing wins heart like cheerfulness. Hear, hear. In the future, our cities and towns may be swept and tidied by a fleet of autonomous robots called Pixies. The prototype for this advanced litter picker is just one of the bright ideas shortlisted for a Green Alley Award. The awards recognise the innovative startups that are working to make the planet greener. Other shortlist innovations include waterproof clothing made from biodegradable polymers, often outdoor kit is hard to recycle so it winds up in landfill, and an organic alternative to plastic that is made from fish waste. Environmentalists have released a Jaguar and her two four-month-old cubs into the Gran Ibera Park in northeastern Argentina as part of an ambitious rewilding project. It's been 70 years since Jaguars, the third largest cat species in the world, roamed the region. Unfortunately, due to hunting and human activity, they became extinct locally seven decades ago. To reverse this loss, a group of conservationists have implemented a carefully considered strategy to revive the ecosystem. They started by reintroducing giant anteaters and pampas deer before bringing in the big cats. It's yet hoped that eventually 100 Jaguars will make the Grand Iberia Park their home. Thanks for watching, stay safe, stay hopeful, and from all of us here at Love M44, have a great weekend.